Mastering modals. Fill the blanks with modal verbs for advice. Hello, English learners. Today, we'll be tackling a crucial part of the English language, which is modal verbs. More specifically, we're going to dive into how we use modal verbs to give advice. Our key focus will be on the modals, should, ought to, had better, and could. We'll practice by filling in the blanks with the appropriate modal verb. So, grab your notebooks, and let's get started. Before we start with the exercises, let's do a quick recap of our modal verbs for advice. Should and ought to. These modals are used to give friendly advice. For example, you should study for the test. Or, you ought to study for the test. Had better. This is a strong modal verb used to give strong advice or a warning. For instance, you had better study for the test, or you might fail. Could. We use this modal verb to give a suggestion or advice. It's a polite way to offer advice. For example, you could study for the test to get a better grade. Now, let's move to the exercises. We'll read out a sentence with a blank, and your task is to fill in that blank with an appropriate modal verb. 1. You, blank, drive more carefully in the rain. 2. If you want to improve your health, you, blank, start eating more vegetables. 3. You, blank, apologize if you hurt someone's feelings. 4. We, blank, not be late for the meeting. 5. I, blank, take some time off if I were you. Take your time, think about the context and which modal verb would fit the best. We'll review the answers shortly. Let's go through the sentences and fill in the blanks. 1. You should drive more carefully in the rain. 2. If you want to improve your health, you could start eating more vegetables. 3. You ought to apologize if you hurt someone's feelings. 4. We had better not be late for the meeting. 5. I should take some time off if I were you. How did you do? Remember, the important thing is to understand why each modal verb fits into the context of the sentence. Well done, everyone. Today, we've practiced how to use modal verbs for giving advice. Remember that the best way to master these is through consistent practice. Keep working on exercises like these, and soon, using modal verbs will become second nature. We hope this session was helpful, and we look forward to helping you continue your journey in mastering the English language. Until next time, happy learning!